Hi guys, so we're still in my room, there's people cutting grass outside the window, and my wife is giving lecture on uh, a different room, so you guys are going to hear all kinds of noises. <laughs> well, be that as it may. Um, we have a lot of news uh, portraying to a wide range of fields in this, um, in this, th this week. Uh, one of which I'm going to dig a little bit deeper and I'm going to send a couple of messages during the video to a lot of people. Now, let's start with the beginning. So, um, Disney Plus has announced that the Bad Batch um, series, animated series, will have a release date. Uh, the release date will be on May the 4th. So, on May the 4th, Bad Batch Star Wars, um, which is an animated series connected to the Clone Wars, uh, will be launched. Now, we don't know if it, this will have multiple seasons, if it is going to just be a standalone, no, no knowledge on that regard. However, um, the name of the Spider-Man movie has been released, which is No Way Home. So, the concept of home remains true to the trilogy. So, we had the first one with home, second one with home, and the third one with home. So, this is actually quite interesting um, definition that they, that they actually did on this, uh, on this series of, um, of movies. Everything is around family and um, actually around the theme of um, home, neighborhood, you know, uh, something something interesting to, to look after. And, and uh, the, well, they released a sort of a teaser, sort of. I mean, it's the three actors just having a chat. It's not really a teaser, it doesn't show anything about the movie, except the name of the movie. So, and the Loki TV series, uh, it's not an animated one. It's actually um, the the one with the real uh, actor that portrayed um, Loki on the Thor movies and Avengers will have a release date uh, premiere uh, at June eleventh. So mark in your date and your calendars, um, alarm clocks, whatever. June eleventh, Loki TV series is launched. So. Um, what else do we have? Looking here at my notes. Um, so, what else do we have? So, the Cyberpunk patch 1.2 uh, was not launched on the correct date. This, as you can see, my notes. Um, <laughs> it was actually a fatality on, on Cyberpunk, another one. <laughs> um, so... Cyberpunk 2.0, the uh, 1.2 patch was not released on the correct date because um, the studio was attacked with a cyber attack. So hackers were able to get into the studio's main server and they stole the um, core programming uh, code of The Witcher, Cyberpunk, and another project that they're already working on. So, it's a big bust for that studio. I mean, CD Projekt has been getting it wrong since the beginning of the year. Uh, even before that, with the launch, with the horrible launch that was uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, I mean, they, 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 they announced it's going to be the game of games, it's going to be this and that. Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. Um, Nickelodeon is launching a new studio to um, actually make more Avatar movies, more animated movies. So, um, we can only see results of that in about one to two years. That's how long it, it takes in our days to make a, a movie, an animated movie, uh, a good one. So, also... Henry Cavill, Superman, um, a.k.a. The Witcher, uh, a.k.a. Uh, 007, if everything goes right, 
and aka Commander Shepard of Mass Effect. Please, that's come on, just just give him the role. Might as well give all the action, <laughs> all of the action main roles to that guy. He's Superman, James Bond. Uh, all he needs to be is the Terminator and 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 Rambo, um, and he's got it all under his belt. Um, it's kind of an idea there. Um, although I, I do know that uh, Schwarzenegger and and uh, Sylvester Stallone will not be happy <laughs> with it. But um, Henry Cavill showed us a picture of him uh, on the dressing room of The Witcher. Now, uh, he still had The Witcher um, hair on, uh, but he had papers on his hand, and those papers, he said, it was either a secret project that was already ongoing, or it was just a stack of papers. And sure enough, the internet came into play. So with our super technologies, we were able to uh, magnify what was on the papers. And it's, and it's actually Cerberus, Talizora, Quarian, and Turian. All these four four words were on that paper. So there's quite the possibility that is actually the main character of the next Mass Effect um, game that it's coming that, that it's coming or is going to be just doing the voiceover. I don't know, I don't care. He's going to be on it, I'm buying it. Okay? And um, next, I'm not even going to need my, my notes anymore. So, the next um, and final topic of this um, new segment. So, Anthem was dropped by Bioware. EA made the call to not go forward with production of Anthem Next or Anthem 2.0, whatever it, it was called. This was a horrible decision. Horrible. There is a very big community of players, of fans, that were very disappointed. There was a, a, a big sway of players that will never, ever buy an EA product again. This is serious. Although, on the long run, with more kids coming into play, more more adults coming into gaming, that will not have the desired impact. I'm also not jumping on that bandwagon. I love Anthem to death. But I also love other titles that EA have available. Like the FIFA uh, games, uh, Mass Effect, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, Dragon Age, and a lot of others. I'm not a Madden, by the way, for the Americans. Uh, I love that one. Um, I'm not jumping on that bandwagon. I'm going to continue to be a customer of EA. But here's what I'm going to do. Uh, this is not in protest. This is just safeguarding myself. Hmm? I just want you guys to understand this. This is me safeguarding myself from disappointment. I'm never going to pre-order anything from EA ever again. And I'm serious. I'm never going to do it again. Um, I am never ever going to buy in-game products again. That means the, the coins, the FIFA points, the, the um, Andromeda points, stuff like that. That's where EA makes big money. It's not with uh, buying the stuff or not buying the stuff. That's irrelevant. It's the pre-orders. The money before the launch. And 
the money after the launch. That's where big money is made. And that's where if you guys want to hurt EA, hurt BioWare, that's what you guys will do. Another thing, uh, there's another thing that you guys can do, should do. And it's very simple. Keep logging in to Anthem. Keeping, keep logging in. With this, it will justify the servers to be, remain online, to remain active. If they all of a sudden decide to cancel the service, shut down the servers, more power to you. Then you'll have all the reason in the world to come online and just bash the crap out of EA. That's what I would do. That's what I'm going to do in the day that happens. You know why? Because I pre-ordered that game. And I got a little bit disappointed with the launch. It was horrible. Because here in Portugal, I could only access the game about a week after it was launched. I already had the CD, everything that needed. The internet on the console, everything. But the servers did not recognize my country as valid country. So I couldn't access the game. I called uh, EA support like dozens, dozens of times, spent a crap load of money uh, on those connections. But I got through and they opened the servers finally. So... Here's the bottom line, guys. You want to hurt EA, that's what you guys should do. Don't come to me and say, I'm not going to buy it. Yeah, that's your choice. And that's a choice that will have zero impact. You want to have impact? Keep logging into the server. Keep active. Don't buy or don't buy the, the products. Just um, work for, for the armors. That's what I do. I, I never bought one armor on that game. I bought a crap load of um, stencils and um, uh, I do believe that I bought... Uh, oh, I bought. I did buy one, one armor with crystals. Yeah, yeah. So I did uh, spend a little bit of money on that game. But you can buy the game with in-game currency. That you can uh, buy the, the armors with in-game currency. That's what I would do. It takes longer. Yeah. You have to wait for the uh, specific armor you want because you can't do it in a week. Yeah. But you can do it. Don't give them any more money. Why? Because it's not going to be justifiable. For all intents and purposes, they should give you your money back. Why? Because they lied to you flagrantly the game was not was not what was advertised did not have the longevity that was adver advertised and was uncharacteristic in every way possible so guys you want to hear TA keep logging into the servers now there were two games that EA will have always on their memory because they failed because because of each other. It was Mass Effect Andromeda. It failed because of Anthem. And Anthem that failed because it was pushed. Was released ahead of schedule. Now, bear with me. Two projects failed. Two right now are on the works. Would you have any faith on those projects in order to actually pre-order them? You want to send a message to EA, don't pre-order. Just buy it off the shelf. Believe me, there will be enough. Uh, you want to boycott? Yeah, you can do that as well. Uh, impact, zero. Zero. You'll get it eventually. And the money will still be there. Uh, one other thing. 
uh, Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition was my last pre-order because I pre-ordered it before the, this Anthem debacle. What I don't understand is so much money was employed on pre-production uh, on on making all those mock-ups that I've showed you on past games on the news from Bastion. Uh, that was a, a new segment from Anthem that I had on my channel. You guys should check them out uh, from months behind. Um, and yet, all of the, that money is going to be down the tubes. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be to, gone to the trash can. That's how EA values your money. They don't give a crap. Hmm? So, guys, if you want to do what I do, fine. If you want to do the protest on your own way, fine as well. But, and if you want to hurt EA and show them the monumental stupidity that they did, just did, Keep logging into Anthem. Play the game. Even if it is an hour a day, 10 minutes a day. But keep doing it. Why it's going to show them... Wait a minute. After a year of saying that we cancelled everything, these guys are still coming back? Either they're monumentally wrong or we are. And guess who it is? They are. The game has potential. The game has a lot of potential. Now, there, there, there was a movement that I saw today. Uh, people already scrunching up money uh, on Kickstarter um, to buy off uh, Anthem from Bioware. And then uh, developing the game themselves. There was a couple of cases that that worked. So I'll keep my ears to the ground okay guys so this was my new segment uh writer's gun shop for this uh, uh thursday i'll see you guys next week keep playing and keep safe